the news live at one with me, Leila Juma Mde. And Songole Susan. These are more of our top stories. Mothers leave one day all children for work. People to forego their fish appetite. And Nigerian singer Wizkid to perform at Kampala. These are the news in detail. Now, the National Resistance Movement Party, NRM, has called for national conference on Monday, the 15th of December 2014 at Mandela National Stadium, Nambole. The notice was revealed in the official letter dated 25th October and signed by the ch chairman of the party. Releasing a moment of the use of Prime Minister uh, actually gives kind of uh, a room or vacuum or leaves a vacuum in the political arena of Uganda. Because Amambas is not a one Ugandan, Amambas is not a Uganda himself, Amambas is a Ugandan. So it means that there are Ugandan somewhere. Although there are some people who can also fill the position and do better than Amambas. So I believe there are some people who can do. So definitely as youth, uh, Madam, maybe I get your view. So the fact is that having at least 1,000 soldiers when they can't do anything, it's not important. It's better to have one who's strong, like a mama. Uh, the current turmoil that has rocked the party, uh, is the party still strong? Uh, the party is uh, kind of, uh, like they say, divided. Yeah. We stand. And uh, divided. Yeah, and united we stand. I think at the NRM party is not strong as it used to because after losing out like that, losing its top men like that, Babas, I don't think we are we are going any further. You've heard from what the local local people think here about the party. As NRM plans for its national delegate conference on December 15th of this year, the party though has been rocked by muddy waters that threaten to fade away the yellow color. Nevertheless, the youth think otherwise. For KUTV, I'm Gerald Okot. Now in Sudan, a, South, a group of South Sudanese women peace activists suggested that men in the civil war torn country be denied sex until they cease fighting. A key suggestion was to mobilize all women in South Sudan, in South Sudan, I rather, in South Sudan, to deny their husbands' conjugal rights till peace returns. Thousands of people have been killed and almost two million have fled the fighting between military forces and tribal soldiers. Now, remember, every afternoon we have the big question segment for you. And today we ask, would sex strike be a solution to end war in South Sudan? Would sex strike be a solution to end war in Su South Sudan? Remember, you can send in your responses and comments on our Facebook page, KUTV, and on our Twitter handle, at KUTV. Now, following the outbreak of Mabag in Uganda, the religious leaders are actively involved in the sensitization of the disease, its symptoms, and prevention. The development was revealed by Pastor Chris of Gaba Community Church and Imam Katerega Ismail of Kampala University Mosque while on an exclusive interview with KUTV. When you look at the instance of Babak, many diseases did fall in the Uma, even during the instance of Prophet Muhammad, his peer. But the advice he gave us that if at all a certain disease like that one is called the, the, the formality, we have to first of all, first all, I have a in the in the Quran, the verse which entails that what what I read. So I would say that first I had a little bit of that. You do ask those people who bear knowledge if I told you you don't know. So we've got some information simply because we do work with uh, some doctors that are on the staff. Uh, so they have sensitized the church members of what's going on around. Mm. Yes. So uh, apart from sensitizing the church, uh, what are some of the strategies we people are using to also help the communities outside there, not only in China? One, we've told the people what uh, some of the, the doctor told us actually some of the, the signs that show that one has got this particular disease. And it's not something that you should run away from someone right away, but once you realize somebody is having a severe headache, He's having pain in the leg, he's throwing out. They told us that basically we just need to put on the gloves, put on the gloves before you touch something that you're not sure. It is like contract such. And also 
to take the same message to the community, to tell them, you know what's happening, be aware of this that is happening around us. Nobody is uh, basically in simple terms is a hemorrhagic virus infection. It is, um, uh, belongs to many of a group of viruses, one of which causes a Marburg infection or Marburg fever, and the other one, the common other common one causes Ebola fever. Yes. So it is it's causes uh, what's the cause of that? So the Marburg fever is definitely the cause of that virus. Okay. Yes, the Marburg virus, the hemorrhage. Marburg is a very dangerous disease caused by a virus from the same family as Ebola. Before the current outbreak was announced in Uganda in 5th October by the Ministry of Health, the, the last outbreak was reported in December 2012 in the western part of the country, where four people of the same family were reported to have died of the disease. For KUTV, I'm William Cheptoyek. Thank you. Now, while the strict policies given to students in several schools for them to concentrate and read, sound pollution has become one of the major challenges uh, that students face at Gaba Parents High School. We are here at Gaba Parents High School and uh, we've come to meet one of the administrators to tell us how the sound is really affecting the school. How has the environment around you affected the students at this school? Yeah, about the sound, we receive a lot of music outside in there. And sometimes, like in the evening hours, when our students are in for props, you find that some of them are concentrating on the music mm. instead of reading. And that one has actually affected us negatively. Okay. Mm. Um, so how do you attempt to improve this? Like to like um to make the students concentrate more on their books, most especially during preps, so that they don't pay attention to the music outside or to the noise. What we do to make sure that we we monitor them very closely to make them concentrate on their books other than music outside there. Because when you find that they are alone in the class without a teacher monitoring them. They go on even to sing okay. instead of reading their books. So we monitor them very closely. We just talked to one of the administrators of Gava Parents High School. The challenges they're facing due to the noise out there, the students cannot concentrate, they're being affected by the noises out there, the music that is being played. In that at times, instead of reading their books, they're also singing along with the music that is outside there. For KUTV, Kumbaizi Minta, Gava. Now, let's imagine a mother leaving a one-day-old child, baby, for work. This is when vendors of Gaba Market were able to come up with a structure of transforming Uganda in children nurturing. They leave children aged between one day to five years at a place they believe is a home away from home. The place is called Katutandike Kidagaten, and its motto is transforming life in Uganda. And the police acknowledge its existence. Kathbat Kigozi was there and had this for us. In the wee hours of the morning, parents do take their children to Katutandike Chinagati which they call a home away from home. As these parents go to work, they don't mind of how their children will be looked for. After all, it's a home away from home. These parents are happy because their kids also, because their kids are being given a good reception. But what they don't put in mind because of security reasons is that the kindergarten management has no any written document or photos to prove to the parents that their kids are being registered at the kindergarten because when we did inquire for these documents at the management, they didn't even show us even a single form to show that their kids or their photos of these kids are this school. It's only a matter of leaving your child and pay a small amount of money and leave the rest for the management to take care of. Speaking of the caretaker, 
she expanded told us of how the, these kids are being taken care of after the parents drop them off to parents when contacted they simply credited the, that leaving the children at Katatan in the garden is something good since it is transforming the lives of the children in Uganda because that's the Chindagatini's motto. Well, in life, a baby is a blessing from God. And if God grants you that wish of a child, do you give birth to employment or you give yourself, you give birth to, to yourself and find a way of how to take care of this child because you really asked for God to really help you with this kid. Because as each generation evolves in our Ugandan society, society itself changes because of how we treat and teach our children to live in society. Reporting for KU TV, I'm Chigozi Cuthbert. Now, let's go for a short commercial break. And when we come back, we have more for you in business and entertainment. Don't go away. Welcome back from that short commercial break. Now, in business, as the fishing industry continues to struggle amidst various challenges in the country, price changes are inevitable. For domestic consumers, these changes have been worsened by competition from factories that pay a higher price for fish making it hard for the locals to purchase it. Now, Alfred Oriem happened to be in Gaba landing site and he had this prepared for us. Tilapia species is more expensive than tilapia species. And the tilapia species has more markets, eh, the local market, than tilapia. But again, the international market, tilapia species international, is cheaper than tilapia. Because the the people, the Euro, the, the European, the Western, the Western world, they, 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 for them they believe the, the most delicate, the, most, the sweetest fish in the water is the Telepa. Because it is their little. So it depends why you are taking the fish. Who is going to eat it? Eh? The, 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 the supply, the, the supply from there. So demand and supply comes in there. Fish is a delicacy enjoyed by the majority of the population in Gaba. And for a small income earner like you and me, an increase in the price of fish might not be a news well taken. However, this is the reality on the ground. That would mean for spending on fish, you will have to rethink your expenditure or suspend your appetite for fish altogether. Reporting for KU TV Business News in Gaba, Fish Landing Site and Management, I am Alfred Oriem. Thank you very much, Alfred Oriem. Now moving on, having a smartphone seems to be the trend of the future wireless communication as it offers many ways to communicate, disseminate and capture media, which is no longer the case. This is because the security is in jeopardy every time users log on to their social networks on smartphones which have proven to be very vulnerable to cyber attacks. Now, these phones require one to register their emails, passwords, and some even visa card numbers. And as such, they succumb to this by an intentional disclosing vital data. Now, this has caused so many challenges in the de technology sector or rather, and uh, now people are shunning to use uh, smartphones as their technology phones. In our entertainment this afternoon, Nigerian singer born Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun, popularly known as Wizkid, put up a vibrant performance at the Kampala Golf Course Hotel during the All Black VIP party to launch the new pack of Guinness. Now, Susan, I hope you didn't miss that very important event. No, I wouldn't for sure. Now, in our sports this afternoon, the ninth edition of the East African University Games is set to kick off on the 17th to 22nd of December, which will be hosted by the Uganda Christian University. Kampala University, the defending champion of these competitions, have intensified their training at their home ground, Gaba, in main campus, so that they can defend their title. Now, this event will see 17 various disciplines, such as football, basketball, karate, and taekwondo, among others. With 44 days to the kickoff of the East African University Games that will be hosted at UCU, Kampala University the defending champions have vowed to defend their title that they conquered two years back in Dar es Salaam. Speaking to their top participants and the head of the martial arts team, Titus Sugume, he confirmed this while briefing our KUTV. For KUTV, I'm Akandwa Alan.
Thank you very much, Akanda Naho Alan. Now we have come to the end of our news bulletin, but before that, let's have a look at what took top in our news desk. South Sudanese women suggest sex strike to end war. Mothers leave one day old children for work. In our entertainment, we had Wiz Kid, the Nigerian singer rocking Kampala. And people to go to forego their fish appetite. Thank you very much for staying with us. Please remember to catch us at the top of the hour at 6 p.m. This is the KUTV Live at 1. I remain Leila Jumamde. And Songole Susan. Bye. Thank you.